On today's video, we're going to talk about celebrating New Year's Eve in your club and how to avoid those New Year's Eve nightmares, starting right now. Hey everybody, my name is Perry. I'm a nightlife security professional as well as director of security at a large Phoenix nightclub. Here at Bouncer Tips, we talk about tips, tricks, and we talk about the tools that we use here in the nightlife security industry. If this is the type of content that you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also make sure you hit that little notification bell so you get updates of future content. Now here at Bouncer Tips, I really do enjoy interacting with the people that subscribe to my channel. So if you hit that subscribe button, please make sure you leave a little note in the comment section letting me know that you subscribed so I could personally welcome you to the channel. Ah, New Year's Eve, the biggest night of the year for nightclubs and bars throughout the world. For many bars and clubs out there, this holiday is the one holiday that makes or breaks their year as far as sales go. It's one of the biggest nights of the year, and this is the night that everybody needs to be on their toes and make sure that everybody has a great time, but you're safe and you understand what you're up against. So on today's video, I want to talk about some of the things you need to watch out for to make your event safe, fun, and profitable for your establishment. So let's get into it. The first thing every bouncer needs to realize is that tonight is what we call an official amateur night. It means that a lot of people that are coming out to your club tonight are going to be going to a club maybe for the first time or people that don't go out to clubs very often. So you're going to get a lot of inexperienced drinkers and those have its own set of problems. You're going to get people that do not drink very often. You're going to be getting people that don't know their level of consumption. You're going to get people that just don't know how to handle themselves in a nightclub setting. So you have to be on your toes a little bit more cautious and watching out and being a little bit more observant tonight than you would be on any typical night. It's a big night, so you need to be prepared and be focused on what you're doing. A second thing you need to realize as a nightclub bouncer on New Year's Eve is that this is one of the nights that the club makes or breaks its financial mark. So what you need to do as a bouncer is be prepared to give the best possible customer service that you can because a lot of the guests that are coming into the establishment are paying premium prices for the event and the experience that they're going to have tonight. With that event experience, a part of that is customer service. You need to go above and beyond to make sure that the customers feel welcome Make sure that they're happy in the club. Find out what you can do to serve them best. Tonight is your opportunity to shine as a bouncer to make them feel as welcome as possible. This can also work to your benefit. I've many times in these type of situations gotten a lot of tip money from a lot of guests for taking care and going the extra mile. This is a night they're comfortable spending money. So this is your opportunity if you're club allows you to get some tips this is a great night that you can get some of those and capitalize another thing to realize with the premiums that are going to be out there tonight is you can upsell people you can sell people on bottle service things along those lines that you might not be able to get typically to get tables sold things along those lines do your part to help your club become the most profitable it can be it will only reward you in the future now with those premium prices, you also want to watch your customers making sure that those groups of people that you're dealing with are not getting themselves into trouble by drinking too much before the New Year's Eve mark hits. You should be watching the guests that are in your area, making sure that they're not getting too intoxicated before that midnight hour to make sure that they can celebrate and take advantage of all the amount of money that they've spent to celebrate that evening. You need to make sure you're policing your people. Sometimes go up to them and talk to a friend of theirs and say, hey, your friend's getting a little intoxicated. You might want to slow him down or he's not going to make the New Year's Eve. Things along those lines. You want to be very interactive, be polite, and also watch out for your guests tonight so they make sure they can maximize their fun level on New Year's Eve. Because if they're having fun, chances are they're going to return to your club and that means more profits for you in the future. Now on New Year's Eve, it's one of the busiest nights of the year, so all the staff in your establishment will be stressed. Your kitchen, your bar staff, your wait staff, your busing staff will all be stressed because there'll be more people than are typically at your establishment on any other night of the year. So you need to police your area to make sure your area stays clear of, of glassware and things like that that could become a hazard if things get out of control in your area. If you see glasses lying around, you'll want to remove those call a busser over, things like that, to make sure you police your area to keep your area clean to make sure that there is no possibility of, if an altercation breaks out, glassware being thrown all over the place. 
As a nightclub bouncer, one thing you want to always do as you approach that midnight hour is you want to pay attention to who's in the club and starting to hit levels of intoxication. What you want to do is you want to kind of mark people that might be getting up to that level and approaching that level of intoxication that you might want to watch as they hit that New Year's Eve hour. They're going to be doing champagne toasts, they're going to be doing shots, things along those lines, and their level of intoxication is going to shoot up immediately after that midnight hour. So you want to make sure you kind of pick out in the club who are you're going to be your troubled areas that you need to pay attention to. But you'll also need to pay attention to some of the smaller females in the club because once they start drinking that champagne, their level of intoxication shoots up really quickly as well. And that's what you would need to be watching out for. Another thing to think about is that once that New Year's Eve hits, you're going to be getting a lot of cell phone calls, a lot of text messages, things like that from friends and family. You need to make sure that you stay focused at that point in time throughout the night to make sure that you do not get distracted by on your cell phone or by other people that are in the club trying to distract you from doing what the real job is. And that's watching out and protecting your guests. Another thing to make sure of at midnight is that you avoid taking the shots or doing toast with the guests. Your job is to stay focused, so you need to be sober. You need to make sure that you're not allowing guests to get out of control. And if you've been doing any drinking or taking shots, that doesn't put you in the best situation to make sure that you're protecting the guests as much as possible. And it's also dangerous for yourself. And one final tip I wanna talk about is, obviously tonight is a big drinking night. So what I'll typically do is post somebody at the exit of my club, asking people when they leave, how are you getting home? Do you have a ride? Do you have an Uber or a Lyft? What I'll usually do is just try to find out if they've got a way to get home other than driving. What we want to do is protect the public and protect everybody that has come to our establishment to make sure that they're going to get home safely. So there were just some quick tips on avoiding New Year's Eve nightmares. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't like it, make sure you hit that dislike. Also, if you would, if you have some other tips that you would recommend, put them down in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you'd have to say. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to learn more about the nightlife security industry, click right here. And you've just been taken beyond the ropes. Happy New Year, everybody.